You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's WWE NXT After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's WWE NXT After Show. <laughs> Step right up and welcome to NXT's After Show right here on AfterBuzz TV. Joining me today, the not vaude villains. <laughs> I'm Gabby <laughs> Kelly and this is the worst accent I've ever done. I was gonna say, you're going Australian the again. Table, Mark Donica. <laughs> Step right up, welcome in everybody. That's what I was trying to do. See the sideshow hobo, the <laughs> sideshow bo, if you will. The oh man with gosh. the handlebar goatee. Oh, it's wow. catching on, it's uh, catching I, on. It might yeah. be contagious. It might catch on fire, stay tuned. <laughs> oh. Catch a disease. <laughs> that one else is new, that's just another Thursday. Um, amazing episode of NXT. We had some debuts, but first off, you want to look like this. You do. You do. I do. <laughs> I do. And, it doesn't, it. and you can't just drink a miracle tonic, can you? No. 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 This is the Bible, basically, when getting in shape. Maria Menounos' book, The Every Girl's Guide to Fitness. It has so many health and fitness tips in there. It's available on Amazon and anywhere where books are sold right now. Um, I could speak for you know myself in reading this book. Such. Um, amazing insight, and it just helps get your diet kickstarted. So, well, no, I, I mean, I could too. The the, the recipes in it. I, every time we talk about the book, I go back to the recipes. Um, my dad had some heart issues recently, mm -hmm. and I picked up a copy of the book, and and we've been going off of those a lot, and it's been, it's been a very welcome change. Yes, if you would like abs of steel, or just to start eating get healthier, get Maria Menounos take a punch. Like yes, gotcha. have you seen her? Well, I mean, yeah. She <laughs> did a WrestleMania. She, she did a WrestleMania. Yes, yes, she <laughs> One did. One time that WrestleMania happened. She got a punch once. Marie <laughs> <laughs> um, Nunes, she got a punch once. <laughs> she got a punch once. <laughs> um, <laughs> see the woman with the... Nope. Nope. <laughs> see the woman with the steel pack of abs. Ping. Yes. That. Steel six pack? Awesome. Yes. I could um, do that voice all day, but I won't. Incredible. <laughs> so, the entire show in that voice. Let's do it. No, it sounds it. hard. Let's do it. Thank you. Let's talk about tonight's episode of NXT because we did have some debuts. We had some fun stuff. Um, some people from the main roster coming down. Um, and we are going to recap all of that tonight. First off, we have Sasha Banks coming to the ring in a match that was set up last week against Alexa Bliss, of course. Sasha comes down to the ring with Charlotte and Summer. It looks like there's already some tension when they're walking down. Some hair flips, some evil eyes. Jesus. Some hands. Stop. Mean girl. Just stop. 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 No, I think she's telling you to stop. <laughs> Um, and then Alexa Bliss comes down to the ring by herself, but looking adorable as always. I don't know if you guys caught uh, the article that was written on her on um, WWE.com about how she wants to be a role model to young girls, and she actually um, battled an eating disorder when she was younger. Um, but it was really so heartfelt. Like I wanted to hug her after I read it. Um, but yeah, I j it just made me or made her more endearing. I think. That's good. I didn't. I didn't see the article, but I, I saw that it was, but I didn't see it. Yeah. You know. Maybe you'll be able to get a chance to hug her around SummerSlam time if NXT comes down. Come on. Hopefully. Yeah. Um. So, during the match, uh, very aggressive towards the start, uh, and in the middle of the match is when things got interesting because Summer starts some drama and she calls Charlotte's hair fake. She says, "At least my hair's real." If you recall, Charlotte. Is that uh, like a big thing? What? Like it's calling an another girl's hair fake. Is that big? Is yeah, that a, it's like is you it? have a weave. 
It's, it's a bit, I, I wouldn't know. I'm not a female, and yeah. this is my hair, unfortunately. I'm just going to let you guys know at home, there are a lot of girls in Hollywood that have fake hair and fake extensions and stuff. I have them. 90% of the women do. So. Really? Just going to say that. Yes. Um. Dropped. Well, no. I, so why is that a? Think, but why is that then a slight against somebody? I mean, I think that it's just it's obviously it's the same as calling like, oh, you got a nose job or your boobs are fake uh, or whatever. It's natural, like I'm a, a natural, natural beauty. beauty. Yeah, but honestly, so many girls do, and I think that when I was younger, I looked at some of the actresses and hosts in Hollywood, and I was like, how are they? They're unreal. How pretty they are, and a lot of the time. <laughs> It is fake. They are so, unreal. Yes. Yeah. Don't think that, you know. I am a natural beauty. <laughs> Just so you know. You two can look this good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can. <laughs> if you get hit in the face with a brick a couple times. Mm. No, I, if only you had that Alexa Bliss article back in the day. I know. I honestly had an eating disorder when I was younger, yeah. and um, I think that it shaped a lot of my life. Um, and I wish that there were, when I was that age, that there were, there, I had a mentor or someone to look up to that um, also went through those same things and was vocal about it. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So no, props to her it, for it being that, that open. Yeah. yeah. And I'm sure it's probably still a very sensitive subject. So recounting that and being that vulnerable um, while still, you know, making sure that you did this for young girls out there, I think is incredible. Well, yeah. I mean, it makes her accountable to everybody. An eating disorder in a lot of ways is like an addiction, so you have to make yourself accountable to everyone in order to stay on the straight and narrow, because now if everybody knows, everybody's going to be asking her, so she has to actually watch it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Of course. Um, so, back to Summer and Charlotte's little tiff outside the ring. Um, this, obviously leads to even more fighting and bickering. And um, because of it, Alexa ends up capitalizing while Sasha is distracted and gets the win. There's a, there's a very interesting sort of visual cue from how the the BFFs were in their tights, where Summer was wearing a little bit more of a uh, pink and orange. Sasha was also wearing like a pink and orange, but she had the cross strap like Charlotte does, and yeah. Charlotte was wearing a completely different color. So it, you get you got a literal visual cue of Sasha being caught in the middle of the other two. Mm -hmm. And and I think that was that was kind of smart and, and kind of a cool little nod. It's like a blonde sandwich. <laughs> well, kind <okay>. of. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think point, many yeah. of our viewers could go for one of those. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. You, yeah. Got it you started it. I didn't mean to like that. I'm going to finish it. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the blonde sandwich. But yeah, the um, afterwards, after Alexa won, um, Sasha goes outside the ring and just BFFs fight some more. And this definitely looks like it is the demise, the end of the three. The, the crowd was chanting for a triple threat. Yeah. And, and I think that would be great because I, I didn't expect Summer to come back to NXT. Ever, ever, and so, I mean, not not to be like, oh, BFF, but being just coming back as summer. So to see the the BFFs kind of imploding when I I just I just wanted to see it so personal between Sasha and Charlotte, so that Sasha could finally turn face, and we have another face down there in NXT, and we can stop calling people back down. Yeah, yeah, but now it looks like she's gonna stay either a, a tweener or or a heel at yeah. least. For the for the next couple of months. The time being. Yeah. Although maybe Summer won't come back after this if it's really if it's done. If the BFFs are really finished, then would Summer Does she come need back? To? No, no, that's the thing. Yeah, that would be she over, and then more. Sasha would turn face, and Charlotte would remain heel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Next segment, we get uh, Tyson backstage with Natty, and he is a little bit angry. Uh, we saw the recap earlier from. Um, Monday Night Raw, I think, yeah. um, with Natty and um, asking JBL for help with Tyson Kidd. Um, he gets mad at her for helping him get a match tonight. And I'm just kind of curious where you guys think this is going. This has been building for weeks now. I mean, really, when you look at this whole dynamic, both people are doing doing the wrong thing. 
You see Natalia's going behind Tyson Kidd's back to hook this all up like he can't do it himself. And then she's talking down to him about how he does his conducts his business in the ring. And then he's not engaging her at all and just leaving and going and doing his own thing. Honestly, this is this is like the almost the end of their relationship. This Same. is how, this is how relationships end. Yeah, and and if if Tyson doesn't kind of shape up and and Natty to some respect. Right. She's got to respect him. Yeah. You got to stand by your man. Do you think Michael Cole would lead them in like marriage counseling sessions for WWE.com? That's what they were talking about. Yeah. I mean, they had that one at... Um, for Takeover. For Takeover, right. either before Takeover or after Takeover. Was, I, forget I think it was before. Yeah. It was before and then after with Paul Heyman. Yeah. yeah. Just to stick a finger in the wound. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's this. It's a very interesting angle that's coming from a a, a very real, real feeling place. place. Yeah, I d- I hope it's not actually real, but it, I mean, it's every marriage has their tensions. Yeah, if if this isn't real, those two are doing a really great job of making this feel real because this is this is how relationships actually end. Mm-hmm. This is the kind of stuff that happens, and then two people start going literally completely different directions, no. and a marriage is over. Because like the the cameras could go off, and then one would be. Like, did you really mean that? <laughs> That's not cool. I'll see you later. Whatever. Sort of a thing. Like it, it, I hope not, man. That's, yeah. that's pretty awful. Yeah, yeah it, it's hard to, to go into that personal place if you're trying to play that role, especially coming from the, all of the Total Diva stuff. Yeah. What's going to happen to their cat? <laughs> Cats. Multiple now, I think. <laughs> I think they're not a baby. Who gets cat study? Cuts. Cuts to the, no. Okay. Is this water? Is this something else? Is this thing on? We did else. that on. We did that on on Tuesday. We can do it again. On the Legends House After Buzz. Yes, the Legends House After Buzz. How did you know? Because I was there. All oh, right. That was some. That was a strong drink. Ears. I have. That's right. I have ears. She has eyes, and you have neither. I have nothing. Yeah. I am just a a sack of speech. And smell and, and hair. And hair. Any hoot, let's talk about some people that don't really talk but mime yeah. everything. Uh-huh. Aiden <laughs> English and Simon Gotch are backstage doing an old timey segment, and we loved it. Oh, it was perfect. I want to play. <laughs> Just why I want to be there. I want in. What's that song? Uh, yes. It's like, hello, my darling. Hello, my lady. Hello, my honey. Hello, my right time. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is girls who just want to have fun. This? Oh, yes, no, it is. No, but I was thinking about that before. Oh. This is pretty cool. I like this. Yeah, this is from uh, Bioshock like, Infinite. Oh. Oh. Ah. Really? Yeah. Is it on a carousel? No, they're at a uh, seaside uh, theme park sort of a deal. So there's a carousel right. there, probably. Maybe. I don't Somewhere. Know. I don't know how okay. it would. So, okay. yeah. I don't Anything. know what the instrument is you play this on. Um, what what do you guys think of the vaude villains? More, give it to me. Um, give it to me. Okay, the, heat, not, uh, okay. the blonde sandwich. He wants uh, a, a black and white sandwich. Just yeah. So, so we can grow our it's an Oreo. our YouTube numbers. Uh, why don't you guys mime for the next ten seconds of how you feel about the vaude villains? <laughs> I'm gonna make you do it. All of our viewers who speak sign language are severely insulted right now. <laughs> hey, we didn't sign that, buddy. I, I, I liked it. I liked it so much that I started coughing. Um, yeah, no, definitely. I want more. I thought that it was great. And um, See, this sort of wrestling is, is very big in a lot of... Uh, a lot of different scenes mm-hmm. in, in wrestling now. It's this, this comedy style, yeah. over the top wrestling. And uh, WWE sort of missed a boat on it. They sort of went, wanted to go in the sports direction. Yeah. That's fine. You can do that. But this is really starting it's to take a hold, have, and yeah. they're starting to notice. And the WWE is all about something for everybody. Mm-hmm. So you've got to have this kind of act on the show. Yeah. And I think these are, these are the two guys, they get it. Definitely. English gets it. Gotch gets it. Just, just keep going. Yeah. Do it. It rejuvenates um, Aiden English, too. But we will talk about their Did match. Did he need rejuvenation? I loved him already, I, and I love him more on yeah. top of it. Anyways, but let's talk, about, right. let's talk about this other match before we get into all of that. Mojo Rally versus Garrett Dillon. Could skip this. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> I, I was going to ask uh, what you thought of uh, Garrett Dillon's semi-debut, since we've seen him before. As Captain Comic. As Captain Comic. Um, I'm sure his father, Chris Christofferson, was there watching him. He was. Yeah, he was there for a takeover. Yeah, but so I mean, he, he uh, this, in, yeah. this night as well. I'm sure they would go down to like see him not in a mask. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Oh, hopefully. 
like no just the big shows um i thought he did great yeah. they, they they presented him as a brawler type and he got a lot of pretty pretty big moves off a really mean elbow um and and abdominal stretch abdominal uh, abdominal stretches are, are usually very uh Kind of, they're they're mean. They're they're real heel type that's a, thing. That's a, a real that's a real thing. Yeah, yeah. So I I think I think despite what little we saw, it's a it's a very good start. Yeah, yeah. I liked it a lot. I thought he looked really strong out there, and I like that he could do two different things. The Captain Comic thing was very very funny, very over the top. This was very down to earth, very in your face, He's and I liked it a lot. He is, and versatility means a lot in this business. Mm. It means workability. Absolutely it means you're going to have a long career. Um, longevity. Absolutely. <laughs> longevity. Um, the, uh, Regal said something on commentary. Um, I don't think a man with brown tights cares what other people think about him. And I think I think <laughs> you, you got to think about it. It took me a minute. That was really great. <laughs> but, okay. <laughs> okay. We'll just pass over. <laughs> but it was uh, the. I mean, the match as a whole. It was another Mojo Rally like I'm hype. I'm getting hurt. I won. Like yeah. It, it, well, n- now, it, now this new, this new system of trying to get him over by actually giving him some resistance. It, now this is getting stale, I mm-hmm. think. Well, because the resistance. I mean, he, he had he had some. Yeah, it was futile. Uh, he had some some new. He had some good hold to hold style wrestling in the in the beginning there, and he looked pretty good. Uh, but then he went into the same shtick in the corner, doing those shoulders. Uh, you need you need versatility, like we said, versatility, longevity, mm-hmm. that whole thing. Mojo Rally yeah. does not have that right now. That's what he needs. I wish that they had kept um, Garrett Dillon with in the ca- Captain Comic kind of gimmick until they were ready to give him, you know, some wins. Because I don't know, like well, I know this, it wasn't a complete squash, but 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 for this. Um there would be no, then you would have to. It seems like there would have to be some connection with Adam Rose because I know, or, right? Or else you ha- really have to be dedicated to making Captain Comic a thing, like, right? It had to be its own its own gimmick, and I guess it could be one of those things down in NXT that really doesn't ever see the main roster. But then what's the point? Mm-hmm. You, if you want to get a guy to the main roster, you give him the main roster gimmick and push it. Yeah. Especially the way that it was him and Camacho. Like it was a, it was a, as much of a pure squash as it could be against a, against the big bad guy of that storyline. So then, what does that make Mojo Rawley in that match too? Yeah. So. Yeah. No, let's get him, let's get everybody to to not like him. <laughs> See what happens then. Might, might the ironic part is we don't have to do anything. Rarely anybody likes him as it is, and I liked him, and now I don't, and that's not my fault. I didn't choose not to like him. Circumstance sort of steered me in a direction towards not enjoying this any longer. And the crowd seemed to be in agreement with that. Mm-hmm. Like, at the beginning, they were chanting for Mojo, and then at the end, when he started going into hyperdrive, there's a couple people like, woo. Well, hopefully he can figure out a way to turn that around. I, I really want to see that. I yeah. think he's got a lot of charisma. I, there's a lot there, but yeah. there needs to be more We there. see the potential in him, Absolutely. and we just want to see more. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about someone who does not like power. Uh, CJ Parker nice. says, kilowatt, light a candle. And then like eat lot. local, think global. Actually, I dig that. The other one, eat, eat, eat local. Yeah, I'm behind that. Yeah? Do it. Um, so, how many more weeks do you think we're going to see of his posters? I think we might. The ne- like the next four weeks, like after, I don't think we'll see him in action next week. I think maybe the once the next cycle begins, we'll probably see him in action. Yeah. But I think all of this sign stuff has been good for him. Yeah. I mean, I had more notes for C.J. Parker than I did for the Dylan Mojo match. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's getting a lot of time. Yeah, he's getting a lot of time, and he's staying in the public eye. So. He's on what there he does every is week. it's memorable. That's yeah. the thing is you you remember this. He comes out with a different sign, and the sign is somewhat memorable. Last week was I speak for the trees. That's memorable. It's silly, but it's yeah. it makes sense. So I think this is what he needs right now until he they give him an opponent that's definitely worth his time. He's half ent on his father's side. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. As a nerd joke. I wanted to like, <laughs> uh, what? As a nerd joke. Mm. Um, okay. So, um, right. No, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? What? I was just going to say a really good uh, line for him to say to an opponent would be something like, you're not even recyclable, you're just trash. That's good. That's not, yeah, I was really <laughs> sure. You're not compostable. <laughs> 
Um, okay. Anyway, or he could just threaten to bury on. somebody in his flower bed. That's a very now frightening Now we have another thing. person who could do a buried alive match. Oh yeah! Oh oh <laughs> yeah! <laughs> It'll be a compost your opponent match. Oh my gosh! Component. Component. Yeah. Wait. Mm, nope. Yeah. I, no. That one. Failed. Okay. Um. Well, let's get back to uh the. Vaude Villains, hey, they hey, have a hey, match hey. against Angelo Dawkins and Travis Tyler. Although we did skip the, the kid Zane backstage. Oh, it's just like, oh, hey, you ready? Yeah, 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 I'm ready. Let's well, go. Well, I mean, I actually thought this was a good thing. It's about redemption. This yeah. was really about redemption for both parties, and they could really unify on that, which was what, I, what going into this match, I thought was part of what was going to help them to actually win the belts tonight was just the fact that they needed this. Mm -hmm. At least they felt... They made me feel like they needed this. Mm -hmm. So anyway, it sold me. It actually, I thought it was a decent backstage promo. Yeah, I just want to talk about the vaude villains. Again. I do too. No, uh, but yeah. I also had to make that point. And it seems like a lot of people in chat roll are agreeing with our thought on them. Um, Green Thunder twenty three said, "I love the vaude villains." Um, Lake eighty five, love, love, love the vaude villains. So they're just one upping each other, like adding more loves with every. Um, Every compliment. I don't think the crowd will let them be bad guys. Oh. That I, I while we were watching it, like it's it's very entertaining and it it wasn't too healy. Like it it was, but it was also just dominant tag team wrestling. Right, mm -hmm. and I I don't think they they are heels in the true sense of the word because what they do is funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what a real heel does is not funny. It it makes you angry. But all of this was entertaining. So I, I don't think they're ever going to be the heel heels, yeah. no matter what they do. I mean, they could be like a Tyler Breeze. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Or technically, he's the heel, but everyone loves him. Right. I mean, that's a, I mean the, the NXT universe is full of smarky individuals that think that just don't let anybody kind of be... They just want good <sighs> Dolph matches. Ziggler was a heel, and everyone loved him. Yeah. Yeah. But, for a real long time. No, I know, but, but I mean, he's and eventually he turned. He they yeah. they had him turn. They had to. But uh, yeah, yeah. They just they're they're they need to give the crowd what they want, but they also need heels. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. You need heels. You know, like do, I, now, we only have two heel tag teams. We have the Legionnaires and and Ascension. I mean, a good a good face is nothing without a good heel. We don't have that many tag teams. That's the problem. Yeah, now, now we, now we're we have. Some. Now, now we, we are getting five. some. I yes. Or Finally. Six. No, now we have six. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. I like it. We're going in the right direction. <laughs> um, so, this match, um, Love Gotch's one arm push ups on his opponent. Oh, with the arm lock. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was, that was awesome. great. I, gotta, and I, gotta, then, I can do that. I want to do that. Uh, Aiden English does a senton bomb for the win. Is that yes. what we decided yeah. it was? Senton bomb. Okay. That's what they said it was, so we'll go with From that. From the second. Yeah. Um, I liked it. I liked the wrestling style. I liked how um, English and Gotch work together. I thought it was great overall. Yeah, Angela didn't even get a tag. <laughs> no. Poor Angela. It just it everything they did was it it had appeal to it. Even when they when they did the the arm lock with the feet and then the the uh, Hindu squats, it was it was great. And the squats while he was keeping him from yes. the tag that was just silly. They need triangular weights. That's what they need. <laughs> Uh, the old school uh, Iron Sheik paddles. Yes. Those are hard to do. Those are. <laughs> yeah. That, that, this was ridiculously entertaining. And, and what, what's their tagline? They're the best in, in the world in wrestling and in entertainment. Or so, something, something like that. Like that yeah. They broke the, the, the name up. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that was, this was fun. You like yeah, it? It was fun. Yeah. And I like how they gave Gotch the steamroller, which is just kind of funny if you think about it from an old timey standpoint. Yes. Yeah. I think it, it's, it works. I, I want to see. I want to see them in a real, real tag team match. But it's a great way to establish them. Hmm. So has got to lemon now. Oh yeah, because he's not a rosebud. I guess so. He's dropped the fez and picked up a uh, one-shouldered unitard, and mm -hmm. yeah. it's not quite a singlet. It's got to be a unitard. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. It works. Yeah. Backstage, Devin Taylor interviews Colin Cassidy. He starts singing for us. You want, okay. Because <laughs> you were going, when, when the moon hits, hits your eye, eye like a big pizza pie, that's... Beep. 
Amore. Saying that we the there's something missing. Like he's he's really Enzo appreciating the amore. crowd. Yeah. Uh, and it looks like I mean the the shirts that came out the soft shirts both have Cass and Enzo on the back. Yeah. So it, I mean that th- that was the first yeah. tease, and now we'll finally get. He's I'm happy that he's healthy again. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I can't I can't wait for him to come back. We missed him. Devin's yeah. face. <laughs> Boop. She was like. All right, back to you. Okay. I loved it. Loved it. Um, I love that. RVD and Devin Taylor in another backstage segment. After the commercial break. Um, He says he is down there to see the incredible talent that they have. And um, RVD is actually going to be in a match next week. With Adrian Neville. Yes. That's. I mean, I would. I would want to see him in a match with a lot of people down there. But, but two high flyers. Neville. This will be. This will be really good. Mm-hmm. I wanted to be I'm ha- sure this is a dream match for a lot of people. I want it to be half Probably the show. Probably for Neville. Yeah. Yeah. You want it to be half the show. It should be. Yeah. You know what? I think it could be. Yeah. But if mm-hmm. they did it right. Every once in a while, like for the for the ones that end the 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 long taping sessions, they usually have a big match. Yeah. A really long match, and I hope this one is it. It will be exciting to see how that match goes next week. Yes. Um, next match that we have tonight, though, Tyler Breeze versus Callisto. Am I boring you, hobo? No, no. <laughs> Just, uh, I oh, guess my bored. caffeine level is lower than I thought it was. Oh. I'm uh, bottoming wake out up, a little bit. Wake up, well, wake up, wake up, wake up. Mark can slap you if you like. I can chop you, too. I wouldn't mind. Huh? I was seriously got chopped to death on Sunday. There's no way you could possibly chop me any worse than I oh, got yeah. chopped on Sunday. Was that Mikey? No, oh, no. I was I was Ian. Oh, okay. Yikes. Yeah. Um, Just a couple like of couple of down home salads. Boys. I wouldn't I wouldn't do that to anybody's ass, but that's just me. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! No, this is a children's podcast. <laughs> Um, anyways. I'm tired, but I'm still sharp, baby. <laughs> don't don't test it. Tyler Breeze Beep. versus Bleed. Kalisto. Mm-hmm. Um, this match, uh, what do you guys think? <laughs> it's so right now. Um, yeah, what do you guys think of this match? There was a weird, uh, and this match rolls on right after this black screen <laughs> that comes back. We'll be right back. They were right. It came right back. That was it. <laughs> yeah, I guess they just needed to test something real quick. Yeah. Um, there was a Kip, Kip Up Dragon Rana. Rana. Yeah, Kip Up, Kip Up Dragon Rana, which was ridiculously cool. impressive. Um, yeah. Can we still brought it? Yeah. Like, everything. This whole this match was great. Honestly, this was a very, very smartly structured match. And uh, Breeze looked really strong. He had, definitely had a size advantage on Callisto, so he just kept bringing him down every uh, back to the head every yeah. time. Callisto had to fight, 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 and once the crowd got behind him, man, something happened. Every time the crowd started coming up for Callisto, Callisto started to fight back. Got more energy. Breeze just had it. He was on the edge. He had the slight advantage the entire time. Yeah. Um, I kind of felt like going into this match, Kalisto was going to lose just because Breeze is the number one contender for... And he kept reminding us of that. Yeah. Yes. Um, and like that happened, Breeze ended up winning with the beauty shot at the very end. Um, but any other highlights from the match? The handstand head scissors, where he was just like, whoop, 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 and then came right back yeah. with it. He's he's a miracle of modern science. What was the move where Tyler Breeze was on the ramp? He was outside of the ring on the ramp, and uh, Kalisto was like bouncing around, and he like hits the ropes and then bounces back, and it was just a total just a fake, fake out. out. Yeah. Yeah. Just, but yeah. it, I mean, it just looked so cool. Yeah, it's the way it's, that he did it's it. hitting it with your shoulders, like neck neck it's, down, shoulders up, and it just bounces you, you right back It's a on lucha your feet. thing. Yeah, I've seen a lot of luchadors do it, and yeah. he he actually does it. Maybe better than they do. This is it's impressive. The crowd was chanting "Lucha, Lucha, Lucha." Yep. So, no, this is spectacular. Yes. Any, anytime we've seen Callisto or and Tyler Breeze, like I, I, as I was saying, I would love to. I would have loved to see more Tyler Breeze aside from just the headbutts, like a, or the the headlocks, a little bit more of his style. But this totally plays into what Tyler Breeze is right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and it makes you want to see more of Callisto. I don't think Callisto got the the comeback 
to justify all the, the all the damage that he had taken. Yeah. But it leaves you wanting to see more from Callisto, and that's what you really want is mm -hmm. to to always be wanting more. Definitely, well said. Nice. <laughs> um, our last match of the night: Tyson Kidd and Sami Zayn versus the Ascension. Is this uh, how you thought it would go? I, going into this, I thought, they, I thought they had a chance. Yeah? I really did. I you thought, thought that they were going to be... Okay. I thought, I thought there was a chance. Okay. I didn't say they were going to. I thought there was. it was possible. Yeah. Uh, but that didn't happen at all. Yeah. I, I think that this could have been... a this, And it still can be a really good, entertaining tag team match. But it turned into just kind of Tyson like a regular, Kidd, yeah. a regular Ascension squash match. Yeah, really. and it, we were like just like, how long guys. is this going to be? And then it ended up being really short because Tyson Kidd just walked away, left Sami Zayn hanging when he was in trouble. Like, yeah. didn't even leave. Stayed to watch him I lose, know. which is actually more cold than just leaving. You if I was Natty, I would break up with him. That is a selfish more, jerk. That's called a divorce. They're married. <laughs> Okay. Can't just break up with a dude. Natty runs out, pushes pushes him back like towards the ring, and Sammy gets the tag, and he's like, "What the? Okay, then I, all right, count out later." Um, Even more move. The Ascension wins with the fall of man. A pretty mean one too. Yeah. yeah. Look good. I mean, I think Sammy just takes him so well, like the way he bumps. He's a pro. He is a pro. Mm -hmm. um, but what do you guys think of this overall and the storyline that they're telling here? Yeah, I mean, I, I, it's one of those things where you can't wait to see where it goes. Mm -hmm. Like we didn't have the, we didn't have Neville on as the champion, as our fighting champion on. Well, because he's been on so much recently, he's got to take a little bit of a break. Yeah, but right. at, the, at the same time, it's like we didn't even get like a confrontation between RVD and Neville in the back. Like yeah. it was just RVD. Which is technically kind of all we, all we needed RVD to go, I want this match, so let's do it. And everybody will go, yes, yes, we want this match too, yeah. do it! But it was it was still strong, Every, everybody really brought it, and it was just a really strong, like, like you said, we had a debut, and just despite being short, we still had, we had five matches tonight in, yeah. in like 50 minutes, and they were all... Relatively strong, save for the yeah. for the Mojo one. I I say it, I say that for uh, Dylan, but it was it was a. I mean, as NXT is consistently putting on good shows. Yeah. And and the the rumors of the like the the budget cuts at NXT are a little uh, disconcerting. Hmm. Uh, solid solid show. Everything had a point. Mm -hmm. Like there was a point to everything. There was no filler. Yeah. Uh, we definitely appreciate that as fans. Absolutely. Yeah. Like you said about the budget cuts, uh, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Yep. I mean, that's... Rumor. That's, it's, yeah, all rumor. it's all it's rumor. All it's all conjecture, conjecture speculation, what you, what you have. But, uh, man, it's, it seems like it would be a loss. Um, and I guess we'll just have to wait and see how this takes shape. And I hope we, I just still hope we get them at SummerSlam. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm worried about. Yeah. Yeah. We no want to see them live. Yeah. Yeah. Fan that access. That would be awesome. Yeah. It would be. So, Twood. I think Twood. this wraps up our after show for this week's NXT. Uh, please leave your comments on our YouTube um, show and then also <laughs> <laughs> words. They're hard. Um, leave comments for us on YouTube and uh, please rate, subscribe, comment on iTunes. Just type in After Buzz TV. You can find all of our NXT podcasts as well as all the other shows we do here. We do pretty much every wrestling WWE show that is out there. Um, tons of other things. Legends House, Bachelorette, once Upon a Time, the list goes on and on and on. Other stuff that's not in season right now. Fun stuff. Until next week, <laughs> where can they find you guys? You can find me on Twitter at DrewHoboProWrestlingTees.com slash Hobo. Pick up a shirt. I'm wrestling in East L.A. on Saturday. Don't come to that if you don't want to. Oh, if you want a taco, I suggest you come. It's got to have good food. <laughs> you can find me on Twitter. You can find me at SoapboxMark. You can find us on YouTube at SoapboxCarTV and Facebook at SoapboxCarTV. You can find me on Twitter at Catherine Kelly. You can find all of us here on Twitter at AfterBuzzTV. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you again next week. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
From executive producers Maria Manunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later! The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.